Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pflugerville High School for tonight's football game between the Stony Point Tigers and the Pflugerville Panthers. Well, I know it means a lot to him. I know that he takes pride in it. You know, it's one of those things where he looks forward to, and it just kind of keeps him young at heart. Oh my gosh, he loves to announce. That's something that he is really proud of, and I know that he always looks forward to those Friday night games. It's his chance to, to stay connected and to give back, and it gives him a chance to shine. He has a big personality, and a microphone in front of thousands of people is, is the best place for him to be. He's so involved in the game when he announces. Um, He's on every single play. He's pronouncing everyone's name with emphasis. 39. Jonah touchdown! It's the best seat in the house, 50-yard line, every home game. I graduated from Pflugerville High School, so why not be the announcer of Pflugerville High School? Remember the first picture was mommy. CJ King is a father of four and a grandfather of 10. Over the years, the 70-year-old King has volunteered in the Pflugerville Fire Department and served as a postmaster for the city. He also helped found Pflugerville's Little League softball program. But on Friday nights, he is simply the man behind the microphone. Back in the day, uh, we'd go to other schools and the announcers would butcher all the names. I mean, it was a little old simple name. They announced me as Kenna one night instead of King. I guess the print was bad. And I said, he ought to be the announcer. At least I can pronounce the names right. So that's what I, I started spotting and when the announcer retired, I took over. King cannot recall exactly how long he's been the announcer for the Pflugerville High School football team. He just knows it's been a long time. Oh, I don't have a clue. I think it's over 25, but I'm not positive. As an announcer, King has developed an enthusiastic style and one signature catchphrase. One night, the crowd was quiet and the Panthers made a first down, and I said, first and 10 Panthers! And everybody just got up and hollered like a son of a gun. So I thought, hey, that's good. I'll, I'll do that every time, and I'll do it every time. First and 10 Panthers. First and 10 Panthers! First and 10 Panthers! First and 10 Panthers! Tackle by number 24, Jackson Branch on the tackle for the Raiders funny to see his just his energy and his excitement because I've seen announcers that you know they just announce they don't you know make it a big uh, to do and he does if you do a, a good player have a big play that happens he's always he's there he's loud and you, you know something happened Rareweather in for the score touchdown Hunter. I think it rings back memories of his football career when he was here and you know how excited the town was when they had that that 55 55 game streak king was a member of the pflugerville football teams that set a national record with 55 consecutive victories from 1958 to 1962. during the streak the panthers won five district championships two by district championships and four regional championships i thought that was the only thing way to play football was to win i didn't know you were supposed to lose so it was great. Got a lot of notoriety. The key to my success at Pflugerville, it was just the love of the game, the drive, and two of the best coaches in the world. That's an old uh, program from the program. 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 Y'all yeah. see the programs yeah. at the football game? Look at this. This is where they came from. Two Thank pages. Well, baby. Two pages. Thank you. No, I think it costs about like uh, 50 cents. Yeah. CJ King, 120 pounds. <laughs> he was probably six Dad. foot five too, about like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was. Freshman. He, he was, was freshman. the goalpost. <laughs> Gatherings such as this are commonplace for King, who raised his family in Pflugerville and has lived here ever since graduating from high school. Every, every time family. somebody has a birthday, every time somebody has a baptism, every, and, and then, you know, we got nieces Christmas. and nephews, they have birthdays. Yeah, we all get together all the time. We always find a reason to get together. We're very blessed. We got a, we a, great we got a really good family. Great family. Great family. Great family. Absolutely. King's favorite memory as an announcer was the night his daughter, Claudia, was named homecoming queen. That was probably one of my prouder moments. 
Yeah, that's probably my favorite memory. Getting able to experience that when my dad is the announcer, it was just a really special, it made the night even more special. I would describe my dad as an amazing father, a great role model. He's always making people laugh, always joking. He's just uh, one of my best friends. I probably get emotional, but um, yeah, he's, he's amazing. Amazing father. Well, this is what I always say about my dad. If I had a dollar for every time he made someone laugh, we'd all be millionaires. My dad is very funny. He's very loyal, he's very patient, and he's very kind. He loves to be the center of attention. <laughs> so he's kind of a clown, I guess. I love that he uh, does what he does because he enjoys it. He pretty much represents what Pflugerville is. It gives me a lot of pride just to see him so committed to something that's a volunteer basis. It reminds me how connected he is to his school, to his community, and, and to you know the kids that, that play football. He feels very loyal to the Pflugerville Panthers. He loves tradition, and I think coming to this field just brings back like tons of memories. I know for us, and I'm sure for him, I know it means the world to him because he always talks about how he just wants to keep doing it for as long as he can. Probably till he's too old to get up the stairs, he'll probably keep doing it. That's what I tell the athletic director now when they call and say, are you still gonna announce? I said, yeah, until I die or you fire me. <laughs>